Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP scripts and in the previous video, we understood what SAP script is, how it is different from smart form. Now what we will do, we will design this layout with the help of SAP script now. In the previous playlist, we designed this layout through smart form. Now we will go for same to same layout with the help of SAP script. So what I will do, I will go to SC71 transaction code. That is the transaction code for SAP script. Now, firstly, I will give some name to the script. Suppose I am saying Z order TP. Suppose this is the name of the SAP script. I will go for create. You can see it is saying this script does not exist in client 100. In the previous video, we discussed the most important point that script is client dependent. And see, I'm getting a message itself that it does not exist in client 100. Once I will go for OK, yes, it means I will create the script in which particular client 100 client only. Just see, whenever I logged in into the SAP system, this is my client 100 only. It means I am creating a script which is in the client 100 only. I will go for OK. And you can see I am saying I am getting a message. Whenever I will go for save, the script will be in the client 100 only. I will give some short description to the script. Suppose I am saying order details. I will go for save. Now, now I can save this script as a local object also. I can save this script into package and transport request also. But I will save this script into package and transport request so that I can show you the client copy. In the future, if I will get a, another client, then I will show you also how I can copy this script into the another client. Because whenever you will do a client copy, you require a transport request. So I am just saving this particular script into the transport request so that I can show you the client copy if I will get a, another client in the future. If you want to, from the learning perspective, you can save it as a local object also, no problem at all. Just I want to show you the client copy. So I am saving into the package and transport request. So I will save into the package. You can use any package of your own, whatever you created. I will go for OK. Now I will click on to the create button and I will create a transport request. You can create a transport request through SC09 also directly. From here, ultimately it will take me to SC09. I will go for create. I will give the short description. SAP script for order details. I will go for save. So in this particular transport request, I am saving my SAP script. When, whenever I will do a client copy and whenever I will show you a client copy, at that time I will use that transport request. You can check your transport request through SC09 also. So in this particular request, I saved my SAP script. 
from the learning perspective, you can save it as a local object also, no problem at all. Now, now I saved my SAP script. Now, this title bar will play a vital role whenever you are going for SAP script. So always, always keep an eye on the title bar. See, currently I am in header. I am in header part of the SAP script. Now, one by one, I will go to each and every part of the script and we will design this particular layout. So firstly, I will go to pages. Now, if you remember, in case of smart form, in case of smart form, your page was available. Your page was already available. Your one page was already available and you are designing the windows onto that particular page. Now, in case of script, we need to create a page. In case of smart form, page is already available. But in case of SAP script, we need to create a page first. So firstly, I will give some name to the page. Suppose I am saying page 1. I will give some short description to the page. Suppose I am saying first page. As of now, I will not give next page. Once the topic will proceed, I will come to that part. You can see title bar is playing a vital role. I am in pages as of now. I am saving. If I want to go to header, I can click on to this part. I can click here. You can see I am in header part. Now, whenever I will go for pages, I'm in page part now. Now, this is our page. We created a page. We created the page. Now, same to same, whenever we are designing the layout, we need to divide the layout into number of sections and subsection and for every section and subsection, we will create a window in the script also. In smart form also, you did the same to same thing. Whenever you receive a layout, the first thing you need to decide the number of sections inside that particular layout. So we will go for various sections. Now here, we have a important point will come whenever we will go for sections. Suppose this order details, I will go for one section. This order number, value of order number, I will go for one section. Header details, I will go for one section. These four things which are the part of header details which are our header values one section total four section this is fifth section now if you remember in case of smart form for this particular part you created the table in the header you gave the label in the main area you displayed the values but it is not the case with the script. In case of script, what we will do for this label, we will create a separate section. For these values, we will create a separate section. We will consider as a separate section. It means we will create a separate window. You can see, I told you, once that topic will proceed, you will automatically find so many differences. When we started with that topic, we covered two differences. Now, up to this level itself, we covered two another differences. 
in case of smart form there is no need to create a page page is available there is no need to create a initial page initial page is available we are creating the windows onto that particular page after that in case of script we need to create a page also after that yes the second most important difference again we covered yes we are not going for any table or something here we will go for separate section for this also we will go for separate section for this also or we can say separate